Hello, and welcome to my first tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do the dissolve transmission. Now for this, I'm using 3.0 emulator by Lioma and Poyomi, and I will be linking both of them in the description. Now first off, you want to find whatever clothing or whatever you want to use, and you want to go into the mesh. You want to make sure it's set to Poyomi Tune. And rendering preset, it will be start off as opaque, but you want it to be cut out. Then you want to scroll down to Special Effects, Dissolve. I use Dissolve Type to Point to Point. Uh, oh, and I almost forgot to mention Dissolved Color. Click on it, change the alpha right here, the bottom bar, all the way to zero. That way it's going to disappear. If you don't do this, it's just going to change color to whatever the dissolved texture is. So if you want to do that, go ahead. But for this tutorial, it's how to make it disappear. And you can change the, the soul strength to be anything but zero. And we can see how the texture is going to look. And to change the texture, you go here. You click on this little circle. This menu is going to pop out. And you search noise. I use this one because it's my favorite. You can play around with it, change the strength however you like. If you have too much or too less strength, it's gonna to see here. Right now I have a strength at max, and that's gonna clip through even though the alpha is at zero. You wanna have like a sweet spot where it's almost showing, but it's not showing so. I like to keep mine here, around 4, 1, 4. Let me see the alpha, it's going to cut out like that. If you feel like it's ending too soon, like right here at the middle, it already ends. You want to go to point to point right here, change the end point to zero or whatever you feel is the best. You can see here, it disappears completely right here now instead of up in the middle. This is fine with slow empty space. Now what you want to do first is right click both in to the left of the solve alpha and the solve detail strength. So it's gonna work while your material is locked. Now we want to go to animation. Just make a new animation, place it somewhere where you'll remember it. I'm going to name mine Hoodie On. So first I want to turn off the hoodie, and then I hit this red record button. And I turn the hoodie on, go to the mesh. I just move this slider back and forth, and same with this one. So now we're going to be in keyframes here. You can hit record again to get at it. Click on the top key and go here, copy and paste it. Except here, you want the hoodie mesh to stay what it is. From the beginning, you want to change the to you want to change the alpha to one, so you can see it fade in. Now, what I like to do is, I copy this, the, I like to copy the dissolved detail strength, put it just before uh, the animation ends, 
when I go back to the final one and I change this to zero. That way it's not gonna mess with your uh, textures while you're not using animation. Yes, you can see here, it fades in. All right. Now we want to create an off animation for it. Let's see when I hit record. You still want the hoodie to be on at the beginning. And the alpha, you want to be zero at the start and the strength should be the same. I hit record again, copy this, paste it at zero and 10. Now, as usual, you wanna copy the strength, put it just before, and then turn it to zero at the end. And the alpha at the end, you want to be put at one. So where it fades out. And here you also turn off the game object. So like fades out and turns off. Alright. Uh, now find your animations again. Click on them. Disable loop time. Otherwise we're gonna keep looping over and over. Alright. Now. Go to animator, make a new layer, and name it something that you, something easy. Just hoodie f for fox hoodie for me. Go to parameters, make a bool, name it the name it the exactly the same. Hoodie f. You go to the cogwheel on layers for the new layer, and change the weight to one. Then you want to create state empty and drag both animations in. All right, now you want to make transition from new state to hoodie on, hoodie on to hoodie off, and then hoodie off back to new state. And what you want to do now is you click on the new, from new state to hoodie on, you click on the arrow, conditions, and then you change your condition to whatever you name it. Keep it at true, open settings here, and change both exit time and transition duration to zero. Same with from hoodie on to hoodie off. Change the condition to hoodie f, but this time put it at false and change the transition to zero. Now you wanna change this, you wanna click on hoodie on and hoodie off, change the speed to something like 0 0.1 or 0 0.05, whichever one you prefer. You can play around with it. Right, so we're both at that. And this is false. This is true. Now we want to go to your avatar. Scroll down to parameters and menus here. Click on parameters. Click on it in the project. Click on add. You'll make sure it's a bool and name it exactly the same. When you want to click on menu, add control. The name can be whatever you want, so I'm going to name mine Fox Hoodie. Change the type to toggle and the parameter to whatever you named it. Now you should be done, but first you want to enable, you want to go to tools and enable 3.0 M leader. Click on play. Go to scene, click on the avatar, but you should see your menus here. And this is the one we just made, so I'm gonna see if it works. Yep, there you have it. And then turn off. All right. And after finding out the problem, so you see it smoother transitions instead of blinking back up. Uh, I found out on, on the off animation, you keep the same beginning here. At the end, you can keep it the same as well. However, instead of putting the strength at the end to zero, 
you keep it at what it was at the beginning. However, you can copy and paste one frame later at 0 11, paste it, change it to 0 here. Therefore, the, the, the clothing will be turned off, and so will this. Now, if you want to just disable the solve and enable it animations, you would probably have to add an extra keyframe for it to turn off, turn on at the beginning when these things happen, and then turn off at the beginning, uh, at the end. But I'm not gonna do that. Anyway. So doing that, the animations should be smooth. And there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.